Hello YouTube! So today I woke up feeling kind of sickish, sluggish, and as you can see I have some pimples going on here and I was wondering what to do today and I thought, you know, what the heck, let's just fake it till I make it. So I decided to put up this little get ready with me video. Um, where you get to see me put on my makeup while I jibber jabber, I guess. So let's see where this takes us. Start it, shall we? Um, so I will start with my Wonder Pore Toner just to clean up my skin a little bit. <coughs> Skincare is actually a very, very important step when you do your makeup because you need to protect the face before you put all sort of junk stuff all over your face. So, the picks I use are either Korean or Japanese cosmetics because that's what you get mostly here. So, most of the cosmetics they claim to already have SPF, to already have all those good nutrients and moisture for your skin and stuff. But, you know, just for extra precaution, let's just use an actual moisturizer and serum all over your skin. As a protective barrier before you go on with makeup. Because while makeup makes you look good, occasionally they can discolor your skin and all that stuff. So, better safe than sorry. Moving on, I'm using this uh, green tea serum from Face Shop. I got most of my stuff either ordering them online or buying them in person but mostly ordering online and I will share you the link in the description box if you're interested to the website I use and then next up I have this water gel moisturizer as well I can't remember the brand for this water gel but it works nicely because my skin is really really dry. There are dry patches all over my faces, you know, my cheeks. But my T zone is actually quite oily, but it's still not like a mixed type skin thing. My face actually lacks hydration, and this gives the proper hydration without making my face super heavy and super oily. What my face needs is hydration, not oil. So you need to know to be able to make this, these, these kind of small distinctions on your face. Can't use the wrong thing or else you might make any kind of allergic redness even worse than it already is. Pardon the sniffling, I also seem to have a slight flu going on. Give that a moment. Let it sink in. Then, now we start with the actual makeup. You know, primer. I have this bottle for a very long time now and it looks absolutely gross. But this is the Etude House Face Blur. Toner, according to this packaging, it says it helps moving, pore hiding, and toning up. What I like is it also looks kind of like a shine to give your face that glow. Yes, I know, most of the time you want your face foundation and all that to be matte. But, you know, as Asians, we like our dewy skin look. I like it in between, where I look dewy and actually look alive but not you know oily face because sometimes they go overboard with the dewy and you know you end up looking oily which is gross because it's hot here in southeast asia and you sweat a lot so you don't need to already look oily before you even go out in the sun and start sweating all over the place. So that's pretty much how it looks after 
my primer, which is not much because I only apply thin layer. So moving on to my foundation, it's a Tokyo Kate Powderless Liquid. I don't know why it's Powderless Liquid Foundation, a name, but Japanese people, I guess, they don't really quite know how to name things. Anyway, I usually just take two small pumps at the back of my hand. This foundation, the good thing about this foundation is that it has SPF, but it's also matte. It gives a very nice matte coverage. So, two pumps at the back of my hand, and then a damp beauty blender. And then I just sponge it on my face. I have this bad habit where I use my foundation as sort of my concealer as well. I don't know how many people actually does this and I know it's bad, that's what people say. But yeah, that's what I do. I just kind of throw on extra foundation on the place that needs coverage. Just need to pay extra attention that it doesn't cake. There's some horrible wrinkle lines right under my eye, so the teardrop shape side of the beauty blender. And go into that, try to smooth out as much as possible. So let's face it. Uh, the using foundation as a concealer thing never actually works so we will go in again with my this is a body shop stick concealer in the shade 02 that's the closest thing they have to my skin tone it's actually slightly darker than my skin tone I don't really know whether you want to see it that's darker than your skin tone or lighter than your skin tone because some makeup gurus say that, you know, when it's a lighter than your skin tone concealer, it actually makes your dark circles and your pimples pop more because, you know, kind of like it's supposed to make things pop. Whereas some people, there's like darker ones, it makes it sink in. Actually, that kind of makes sense. So I guess it's a good thing that I'm using a darker concealer. I don't know which one of these kind of advice is true because a lot of people say, you know, uh, lighter highlighting concealer under your eyes make your eye go away instead of making them darker, you know. Concealer. How people always say you don't brush your concealer around all over your face you're supposed to just dab it and blend it into your skin but what the hell it's actually so tempting so hard not to drag it all over the place how do you people resist how do you just stick to this dabbing motion especially when it looks like it's not blending at all and you look like you have a chunk of concealer on your face But we all must resist at some point. And just go on with this ridiculous dabbing motion and try like hell not to just go over and rub it. This eyeshadow from Color Crush shade. Coconuts About You from Body Shop. I have my contour because I take forever with my eye makeup, so I decided to start with finish up my face first since you know I'm already here. So, uh, you know, fish face, contour. I admire people that actually has a cheekbone structure. I'm Asian, I have no cheekbones. When people actually say do this fish face, fish face thing and voila this sunken area is where you put your contour but look at this the sunken area is like right here where my lips are am i supposed to put my contour like in here not possible so i kind of use this line but instead i put contour from up here it looks like i have a cheekbone after this sort of kind of i don't know whether it makes any seeming effect i can't quite see it myself but apparently it's supposed to work so yeah there's that blending away this ashy color to make me look less obvious 
how you set them, and be able to create the structure. The ones on my jawline, sorry, the ones on my jawline actually shows, that actually makes my jawline kind of sadly squarish. So I try to alter my jawline when I contour, to make it more V-shaped rather than square shape. I don't know if I'm doing it right, or I'm doing it wrong. And I kind of do this little V thing in my neck, because I'm desperately trying to get rid of the V. Yeah, the Yeah, it feels like on photos, as if it me. And I have this really sad blusher that I kind of like. It's like a natural, dusty pink blusher, but I dropped it. Now it's all cracked and everything, but it's still usable. I mean, I can still pick up the color on my beauty blender, see? I just need to be careful when I apply it, so I kind of, um, you know, dilute it at the back of my hand first before I apply it into my cheek. Like I said, Finish your face first, then go for the eyes, because I will spend ages on my eyes. <sighs> look at that, look at that. I don't this look natural. This natural is putting fake colors on your face. Let's see, look. Wait, I'm just lazy. Most of the time when I have morning functions, like it's 9 a.m. or 8 a.m., but I'm going to power early, it's 7 or 8. It's like, I'm not going to I'm not going to do anything, so screw me. I'm too lazy to put on sunblock. I'm just gonna look at this. You know, I'm gonna look at this and try not to fall asleep while I dress myself. I have to applaud myself that I can dress myself when you're tired in the morning. It's only like when I have an afternoon thing to go to that I put on extra effort to look extra polished. But in the morning, I'd be lucky if I even slap on foundation and throw on a blush or even lipstick for that matter. It's morning, dude. That extra 5 to 10, 15, half an hour sleep is so glorious. Oh. You know, I forgot to mention this. I'm using Drawing Eyebrow from Etude House to do my brows. So it has this little pencil lead thing. It's not really wax or crayon, I guess. On the tip. And then there's the spoolie at the other end to help you blend it all up. Pull it all up. So Now, okay, this is my favorite part. I leave almost the eyes for last, because truthfully, the last of lips. Part of my moment here, you know me good eye, monolid eye, that actually gives me so much space to do whatever dramatic I want. Like, I can move my eyeliner one inch thick and you can't see it, because you know monolids and they kind of fold inwards. This can fold in when I open my eye, so the eyeliner just disappears. But anyway, before eyeliner, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. So, going in with this Catrice eyeshadow for my base, Oh, you can see my blusher at the back of my hand, how embarrassing. So for a base color, I use this nice whitish, brownish color. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this. Like, yeah, I know I can see my face in my camera. Move it up. And to prove that I really love Bob's Beauty, I really love Lindsay, I have her brush right here. The Buffy, Bubby, sorry, Bubby shader brush that I'm using to put this same coconut shade from Body Shop in the whatever crease I have. I kind of fake the crease anyway. In the crease of my eye. Okay, more or less done with that. So I go in with a darker brown shadow, this Tetris. Also Tetris. Kind of ash. Not really black, but dark brown color. Maybe. Okay, most people would tell you, like, put it on the outer corner of your eyes, make it deepen the shading and stuff, but I do that. I do the outer corner thing, but I also do, like, the close to the lash line thing. Like, just above my lash line. 
I'm not doing my eyeliner. Did I just show you guys? So here, little lash line, outer corner of the eyes. I'm not saying I'm one, I'm just saying what they all say because that was where I learned my makeup so I'm, give, I'm just repeating what my teachers have taught me in the past blend blend like your life depends on it blend 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 and so it will look something like this essence gel pencil but this is to line my lower line <laughs> halfway in my lower line I kind of don't want to do a full in thing flash line like people make it look so easy you know lift your hood a little bit and then just line but oh, it's not easy for me like, why would you attempt to stab your own eye? Kind of hurts. So just the outer. I only managed to line my outer lash line, tight line. Oh, that, that's the word I'm looking for, tight line. I'm trying to tight line my eyes. This, okay. This is the bold oversized eyeliner from Body Shop, by the way. Yeah. I got this because, well, it's bold and I like to do my eyeliner thick, so this helps me do it quickly. Pretty good job. What do you guys think? Huh. Sexy? <laughs> well, one side is no problem. One side I can do as sexy as I want to win. The trick is getting both sides to look the same. You'll notice. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. Ish. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. Kind of dull smoky with that I wing one pointed slightly more upwards than this one, kind of this way. Ah, like I said, you know, you take what you can get. With a, yeah, this is a very Asian thing, hence why this is an Etude House styling eyeliner. White eyeliner. Pour the water to make your eyes appear larger. And then the inner corner of your eyes make you look more awake. Let me see. You see what I said just now? Like how I always forget about my lips. There we go. Lips. I'm missing lips. This is Etude House when they had the Antoniet line. This is the Antoniet lipstick, Princess lipstick. I don't remember the name. It's a peachy orange tone. I don't really prep my lips. Like, I don't know how you prep your lips. I guess with lip balm beforehand, but you know, I just go in with it. Contour, what I use is this Sigma Tapered Blending E10. So soft, so fine, and so contourable. So, down the sides of my nose. 
sort of in a triangular shape, I guess, not just like straight down. I do sort of like a triangle thing. You see? Straight down, sides, triangle. Then, you know, the new shape of the nose thing. Okay, let's top this look off with a little bit of Essence Highlighter. It's cream highlighting, but when you blend it out, it becomes powder. A little bit like my foundation, so I really like it. The thing is, I couldn't find a brush or even a sponge that can pick up the cream. So I always have to use my finger to pick up the cream. See? But when you apply it to your face, there you go. Making a nice glow behind me. Leaves are really, really nice sheen. Can I see it? into my forehead, but we have it. This going out look. I will do my hair. Will I? Maybe? Maybe not. Oh hey, look at that. My waves are all okay in a sense. In a really messy way. So I'm just gonna spritz a little dry shampoo into this, give it some volume, suck up some oil, and I'm good to go. Natural lips, a little bit over flush face, kind of really prepared eyes, I guess, really bright eyes, but in a week. So. Thank you for watching me blabber for thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I love you guys just for watching. You know, because I'm new to YouTube. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Love you guys.